Hello kids! So ngayon naman sa video na ito, itutulong ko sa inyo kung paano mag-divide ng numbers. So, uh, ipapaliwanag ko sa inyo yung Tagalog para mas maunawaan ninyo kapag nagde-divide tayo ng mga numbers na matataas. So, muli kasama ninyo si Teacher Bim. So, bago natin simulan ng video na ito, kung di ka pa nakasubscribe sa akin channel, click mo yung subscribe at yung notification bell para maging updated ka sa mga latest video. So, kung gusto mo rin magkaroon ng mga worksheets and activity guide sa iyong pag-aaral, pwede kang mag-join sa aking FB page, Teacher Bean Search mo lang. So, this our first given. We have 26 divided by 2. 26, ang tawag natin dyan ay yung dividend at at yung division sign at yung number 2 ang ating divisor na tinatawag. Sa first step, iaayos muna natin siya sa ganitong position. So, 26 divide by 2. Yan, yung kanyang formation. Itong 26 na nasa loob, ito ang ating dividend at yung nasa labas na number 2 ang ating divisor. So, ito ang ating division sign. So, para sa ating first step, ang una natin gagawin magde-divide. So, dahil isang digit yung nasa ating divisor, one digit din yung gagamitin natin sa ating dividend. So, 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. Sa so, natin lalagay yung sagot. Sa taas, sa tapat tong 2. So, 1 yung sagot. Next step, i-multiply naman natin to naging sagot natin na 1 sa 2. 1 times 2 is equal to 2. Dito naman natin lalagay yung sagot sa baba ng 2. Ang susunod naman, magsusubtract tayo. So, subtraction. 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. So, bring down, bababa naman natin, susunod na digit, itong 6. So, itong 0, pwede na natin hindi isulat yan sa unang digit number. So, susunod, ang una natin ginawa, kanina tayo ay nag-divide. Sunod tayo ay nag-multiply. At sunod tayo ay nag-subtract. Okay, so, ano una yung gagawin natin? Una, divide muna. So, 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. Dito lalagay sa tapat ng 6. Then, 3 times 2 is equal to 6. Then, susunod ay subtract. Ayan. So, minus equal. 6 minus 6 is equal to 0. So, Ano ang ating answer? 26 divided by 2 is equal to 13. Ito ang ating sagot. Ang tawag naman natin sa answer natin sa division ay quotient. So, this is our quotient o sagot. Our next given is 847 divided by 7. So, again, arrange natin muna. So, here... So, ang ating dividend ay 847 divided by 7 ang ating divisor. So, first, ito muna ng 1 digit dahil isang digit lang. Isa lang gagamitin muna natin. So, 8 divided by 7 is 1. Susunod, di ba nag-divide tayo? Susunod ay multiply. Next, 1 times 7 is equal to 7 dito sa baba ng 8. So, ang susunod na step ay subtraction. Ma-minus naman natin. So, 8 minus 7 is equal to 1. So, sunod, magbaba natin susunod na digit, yung 4. Bring down 4. So, 14 divided by 7. So, sunod nga, magde-divide. 14 divided by 7 is equal to 2. Tapat no 4. Then, 2 times, multiply ah, 2 times 7 is equal to 14. Then, ang susunod ay subtract. So, 14 minus 14 is equal to 0. Pwede hindi na natin ito lagay. So, bring down, bababa natin susunod yung 7. Okay, so yung 0 pwede hindi na natin siya ilagay. Then, 7 divide, susunod divide, 7 divide by 7 is equal to 1. 
1 times 7 multiply 1 times 7 is equal to 7 Dito, sa baba Then, susunod ay Subtraction Write the equal sign And 7 minus 7 is equal to 0 So, ano ang ating quotient or answer? 847 divided by 7 is equal to 121 This is our answer 121 This is our third given We have 268 divided by 4 So again, ayusin muna natin Sa ganito Yan. Our dividend is 268 and our divisor is 4. So, first, ano gagawin? We will divide. So, 1 digit muna dahil 1 to. 2 divided by 4. So, kapag ganito, mas maliit yung dividend dahil sa divisor. So, kulang. So, hindi pwede. So, gagamitin natin ay 2 digits. So, 26. Para meron. 26 divided by 4 is equal to 6. Sa taas ng 6 dito, yung sagot sa tapat ng 6 kasi dalawang digit uh, dalawang digit yung ginamit natin kaya dito. So, ang susunod multiply. 6 times 4 is equal to 24. Then, subtract. Minus. 6 minus 4 is equal to 2. Then, 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. Pwede hindi na isulat. Then, bring down yung susunod na digit. We have 8. 8. Divide muna. Divide ng susunod step. 28 divided, divided by 4 is equal to 7. Sa tapat ng 8. Then, 7 times 4 is equal to 28. Then, subtract. So, 28 minus 28 is equal to 0. So, 268 divided by 4 is equal to 67, our quotient or answer. Next given, we have 7,380 divided by 36. So, here, 36 is our divisor and 7,380 is our dividend. So, ating divisor ay 2 digits. So, 2 digits din yung gagamitin natin dito sa ating dividend. So, 73 divided by 36. Ilang 36 meron sa 73? So, the answer is 2. So, we have 2. Then, ang susunod ay multiply. 2 times 36 is equal to 72. Then, sunod ay subtract. So, 73 minus 72 or 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. 7 minus 7 is 0. Pwede hindi na natin isulat. Then, bring down 8. So, may 2 digit tayo. 18 divided by 36 is equal to... 18 divided by 36 is equal to 0. 0 yun. So, wala kasi 36 sa 18. So, 0. So, 0 times 36 is equal to... 0. Then, subtract. So, here, 8 minus 0 is equal to 8. Bring down 1. Then, baba natin susunod na digit dito. Tingin kayo dito. We have 0. Ayan. Ayan. Bababa natin. Bababa dito. So, 180. Susunod. Magdetivide. 180 divided by 36 is equal to so, ilang 36 meron sa 180? The answer is 5. Sa tapat ng 0. Ayan. So, 5 times 36. 5 times 36 is equal to 180. So, 180. So, track. Minus 180 is equal to 0. So, 7,380 divided by 36 is equal to 205. So, 205 is our quotient. Ang sagot. Then, susunod, mumultiply natin. 
3 times 4 is equal to 12. So, subtract. Susunod. 12, uh, 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. Pwede hindi na isulat. So, bring down naman yung susunod na digit. We have 7. So, 7 divided by 4 is equal to 1. Sa tapat ng 7. So, 1 times 4 is equal to 4. Then, subtract. So, 7 minus 4 is equal to 3. So, maybe next, maybe bring down pa ba tayo? So, wala na. So, may natira tayong 3. So, ang tawag natin dito sa natira, in our answer, B is called the remainder or R. So, susulat natin siya ng pag ganito, yung natira, remainder 3. So, our answer or quotient is, from 527 divided by 4 is equal to 131, remainder 3. And our last given, we have 4,224 divided by 75 is equal to, so ganito yan, ayusin ulit natin. Okay, so ito ang ating dividend and our divisor. Sa ating divisor, we have 2 digits. We have 75. So, ang gagamitin natin dito dalawa. So, tingnan natin. So, 42 divided by 75. So, hindi kasha. Kulang. So, pag ganyan, gamitin natin ay 3 digits. So, 422 divided by 75. So, ilang 75 meron sa 422? So, the answer is 5. So, next... Multiply natin. Susunod, multiply. 5 times 75 is equal to ilan? 375. And then, susunod ay subtract. So, 2 minus 5 cannot be borrow from 1. 2. Borrow from 2. Sorry. So, 2 become 1. 2 become 12. So, 12 minus 5 is equal to 7. Then, this 1, susunod. 1 minus 7 cannot be borrowed from 3. So, 1 become 11. 11 minus 7 is equal to 4. Then, 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. Pwede hindi na natin isulat. So, 47, bring down new 4. Then, sunod, divide. 474 divided by 75. So, the answer is 6 sa tapat ng 4. So, 6 times 75, ang sunod na sagot ay 450. Then, subtract. So, 4 minus 0 is equal to 4. 7 minus 5 is equal to 2. 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. Pwede hindi na isulat. So, we have here 24. Maybe bring down pa ba tayo? So, wala na. So, ang natira natin ay 24. This is our remainder. Yan. So, 24. So, ang ating sagot, 4,224 divided by 75 is equal to 56. Our quotient, remainder, 24. So, that is our answer. O, pag nagdi-divide tayo ng mga um, medyo malaking mga digits or numbers, ganito yung ating uh, formation gagawin para makuha natin yung exact answer. We will have three mathematical operations na gagamitin dito. We have division, multiplication, and subtraction. Maging maingat lang tayo sa pagsusolve at i-double check natin yung bawat sagot natin sa bawat operation na ating ginagamit. So, that is all for our lesson for today. Hope natutunan mo mag-divide. Kung may mga tanong ka, wag, uh, pwede ka mag-type sa ating comment section. At if nagustuhan mo itong video na ito, please click the like button. So, maraming salamat. Till next time, with Teacher Bean.